I said, first we, we, we have to say congratulations Liverpool as well, of course. Welcome back to another episode of Beat Pep. I'm your host, Captain Bernie Man FM, and I welcome you to this short term Football Manager 2020 save where we're going to be taking over Liverpool for one season and one season only in aim to get them the Premier League title. And the only way we're going to do that is if we beat Pep Guardiola and his Manchester City juggernaut. Things are not going great. <laughs> Last episode, we beat Manchester City and it was an absolute cruncher of an episode and we beat them by two goals to nil and everything was swimmingly happy. But since then, things have not been going so fantastic for us. We beat City 2-0. We then beat Fulham by three goals to one in the Carabao Cup with the Ox getting three goals. And I thought, there we go. We're getting back to some of our early season form. We then went away to Bournemouth and lost by one goal to nil. In this game, we had a lot of shots, right? We had 14 in the first half. They had one. By the end of the game, they'd had 15. We just crumbled. And I just don't understand what's going off. They deserved it. They got the win. And we were rubbish. And that took us from third back down to sixth. Then we just followed that defeat against Bournemouth by getting a massive victory away from home at the Mestaya against Valencia and it was a 2-1 victory that Mohamed Salah and Joel Matic getting on the score sheet. I keep saying Matic. I'm saying Matip, right? But when I say it fast because of my accent, it sounds like Matic, right? <laughs> Which has been pointed out a couple of times to me about my mispronunciation of Joel Matic because everyone thinks I'm saying Nemanja Matic who plays for Manchester United. Now, it's just my accent. It's just the way that I say it. I'm just going to have to get used to it. That leads us up to the game though again today at Anfield at home against Chelsea and it's a cruncher. This is a cruncher because Chelsea are not doing well in the league. They're sitting in eighth, we're sitting in sixth. And that's where we are at this moment in time. Everton have just got above us but if we get a win here today that has knocked us up to 22 points and we will be back in third. City have got Bournemouth for home so they should probably win that game. Everyone else seems to be playing on the Sunday. United have got Newcastle and then Arsenal have got Leicester. So Arsenal and Leicester are going to take points off one another. So hopefully we can capitalise on that. Come on, back to winning ways today. We've just got the win against Valencia. We're in good form. According to the stats, we are actually in good form still. It's just we're just not pushing the top end of the table because of a couple of defeats in the league against some of the lower league teams. That game against Bournemouth was just an absolute fluke, really. They got that goal in the 91st minute. We, did play, we didn't play particularly well in that second half, but... We still should have won that game by a massive amount. Salah is going to miss the game today. Well, he's not going to miss it. He's just going to be on the bench. He's a little jaded, apparently. So we're going to give him a little bit of a rest uh, in the first half. We're going to start with Shaqiri on the right side. So Alisson, uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold with Van Dijk, Gomez and Robertson at the back. We've got Keita. We've got Wijnaldum and Milder in the middle. And then we've got Origi on the left. We've got Shaqiri on the right and Bobby Firmino. So, yeah, we are a bit under strength when it comes to our strike force. I mean, they're still very good players, so I still expect them to do a job for us. Chelsea are pretty much full strength, it looks like. Mason Mount, Pulisic, William, and they've got Abraham up top as well. So it's going to be a big, big, big game. I normally would say what I'm going to say, but I'm going to let the assistant take the team talk. Because I feel like my team talks are always about telling them to do it for the fans and then telling them individually that they're doing well. But I always feel like that works for the underdog. So I'm going to go with the assistant manager from the start. Then I'll take it on from there and see if I need to come in and intervene any point soon. Right, come on, boys. Let's get this season back in our hands. Let's get a win today. And hopefully City do drop some points somewhere down the line. Highlight for Chelsea, but we're going to get on to this one. It's a, a Rigi putting into the box and Rudiger does get the ball away. Well, I am trying to get the ball at the pitch up to Abraham, but we're going to jump on this one. Here comes Gomez now. Can he find the right pass? He finds Alexander-Arnold to Will... Uh, Wijnaldum, who for them finds Shakiri to Origi, who fires it into the top of the net. And it's into the stanchion, into the back of the net. It's an absolute wonder strike from the Belgium striker, Divock Origi. Yes, I noticed in a couple of episodes before, I was calling him Derek. I don't know why that was. 
But we could call him Derek. That could be his new nickname. And Derek Origi sticks it into the back of the net. It is Liverpool 1. It is Chelsea 0. And what a fantastic start it is for us. Have a highlight. 23 minutes on the clock. Robinson to Origi now. And Origi now to Milner. James Milner now over the top to Robertson. And Andy Robertson is pushing forward. It's Shakiri does well. It's Firmino. And it's going to be a bad pass back. And there is Bobby Firmino to put the ball into the back of the net. And it's Jorginho who's made the mistake. And Chelsea are all over the shop here. And we are flying. It is Liverpool 2. It's Chelsea 0. What was the Italian midfielder doing there? And Kepa couldn't get to it. Firmino says, thank you very much. I will eat that up for my dinner. 2 0. Right, 38 minutes on the clock. We've only really had two highlights in this game so far, and they've both come to goals. Here comes Trent Alexander Arnold with a whipping cross. Ball falls for Origi again. Game set and match this, ladies and gentlemen. 3 0 to Liverpool, and we're absolutely flying. That puts us only two points behind Manchester City at the top of the table. Obviously, they've still got to play later today against Bournemouth, but if they do slip up at any point, we are on their tails. This Title challenge is not over just yet, ladies and gentlemen. I thought it was after that Bournemouth game. I was like, what the hell is going on? But a performance like this against a top team like Chelsea, and we are absolutely back on form again and back onto it. We go into the break, absolutely battering them. It is 3-0. Come on, the boys. The manager says, I appreciate your efforts, boys. Straight back out there. Keep it up. Looking at Trent Alexander-Arnold, he's looking rather tired out there. We might get a substitution on straight away. And he's also on a yellow card. So we've got to do that right now. And we'll look to move James Milner over to right back. And then bring on, in the centre midfield, Jordan Henderson, who can be a box-to-box -box midfielder for us. Um, I just don't like to see a, a player really running out of steam this early on in the second half. There must be a problem with him. I'm not going to bother with Mohamed Salah today so far because the lads up front are doing a fantastic job. Chelsea have done absolutely nothing so far to cause any doubt that I'm making a bad decision. Just about 10 minutes to go before the end of this game and Chelsea have not caused us any problems whatsoever so far. Can we put the icing on the cake here? It's Shaqiri. Ah, oh, big save by Kepa to put it over the top of the bar. I mean, we batted them earlier in the season in the Euro, Euro Cup. I wasn't expecting a performance like this today. Six minutes to go before the end of the game and there's going to be another highlight here. Uh, Chelsea are going to try and get one back here. Here comes Kante, big save by Alisson and then cleared off the line by Jimmy Meldo who's playing right back the man for all the seasons. And then Willian, I'm not sure what he's actually doing. He heads it over the top of the bar. There's a highlight straight from the goal kick. And here comes Gomez to Becker. Becker to Alisson, sorry. And here comes Milner on the right side. Can he put the ball forward to Shakiri? Can Shakiri to uh, Firmino? And that is absolute wonderful play from one end of the pitch to the other. And we just can't put it into the back of the net. I think that's going to be that, though. We're coming up to the 90th minute now. It is 3-0 to Liverpool. And the game was done before the break. When we went into half-time at 3-0, there's actually only 20 seconds or so left. And that ball from Milner is a poor one at that. Is there anything going to happen? The ball goes over the top. Alisson kind of messes up there and Pulisic oof, just puts it wide. But I think that will be that. And it does end. Liverpool 3, Chelsea nil. There we go. There is confirmation. 3 nil winners. And that takes us up to third in the table. But just for now, it's not the end of the, uh, the fixtures for this weekend. But we're not going to see that out. We're going to come back and see how we're going to get on in the next month this is november we're going to come back for december episode and i'm going to have a quick look at that right now but before i do that i've got a bit of a mention in the press bearded man enjoying good start at liverpool i mean i'll take that i'll take that to the bank we're third at the moment we're not doing too bad there's a bit of an international break now but anyway straight out to the uh to the schedule and i am looking at manchester city Absolutely. Oh, do we play City? Because we played them in the last episode, didn't we? There's Napoli and Villa in there. I think because of the two games, and I mentioned this in the last episode as well, Boxing Day and then the game just before New Year's, Sheffield United at home, City away. Let's come back for those, those two games and bring you a double game. Because I've brought you many games on their own at the moment. So let's come back and have a double header for the next episode in December. A Christmas special. 
Let's just say that. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as I have. If you have, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and share it amongst family and friends on different social media platforms or whichever one you do. So if you talk just face-to-face or send it by carrier pigeon, whatever you do, tell them about Captain Bernie Man's Liverpool episode and series. I want to give a massive shout out to the lads over at Passion for FM for all your support. Thank you very much. You know who you are. If you want to be part of that FM community, go to the description below. Check out all the links. Want to keep up to date with what I'm up to? Go and follow me at Captain Bernie Man FM on Twitter. But also, I would love it if you go and subscribe to my channel. If you love football manager content, there's no better place to be. I'll be back in a couple of days' time for another episode for the December issue of Beat Pep. Bye-bye.